Hey, what's up you guys? It's Annie. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. So in today's video, I am filming possibly my number one most requested video, which is showing you guys how I make all of my titles and my text for my videos, how I get my like animated subscribe buttons and Instagram overlays, as well as how I achieve my signature look to my thumbnails where I basically cut myself out of the picture and put kind of like a white shadow behind me. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I do all of that using my absolute favorite graphic design platform called Canva. And I can't even believe I'm saying Canva is sponsoring this video because I've been using Canva since literally day one of my channel to make my thumbnails, my channel banners, my graphics, my overlays. So we have most definitely come full circle to my now teaching you guys how I do it and how you guys can do it too. The main reason why I absolutely love Canva is that for $9.99 a month or $119 a year, you get a full access pass to Canva Pro, which offers over 423 thousand different templates and over 75 million different graphics. Graphics like overlays, stock footage, stock photos, audios, and so many other things for anything from YouTube video editing to website making, Instagram designing, and so many other things. And because I always have the hookups for my people, if you guys use the link down in my description box, you guys get to have Canva Pro for free for 45 days. So that if you guys want to do anything I show you in this video or if you want to explain or Canva on your own, you can do so free of charge. So now I think that is just enough rambling. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get right on into it. All right, so probably the best place to start is the number one thing I get asked about the most, which is how I make all of my title and text animations. So when I'm explaining something in my videos or pointing out something, those like animated text I have flying around the screen, basically how I use Canva to make those. So if I go over onto my folder where I keep all of my YouTube title templates, these are all kinds of different texts I have created using Canva. So for example, this is the one I used in my last video about like monetization and making money on YouTube. If I go ahead and hit play, this is basically how it displayed it in my video. So how I make these titles is first off on the homepage, I go to where it says video and then again to video and it gives us a nice white blank screen to start editing on. So because I am not the biggest techie or the most advanced editor out there, I take full advantage of all the thousands among thousands thousands of different templates that Canva has to offer. So over here in the little side panel here, it has all kinds of different templates, different types of intros or overlays. So let's say for example, I wanted to edit using this one. Go ahead and click on that and that automatically opens it up on your screen. So first thing I would do is go ahead and delete this video here to be able to put mine in instead. And then also change the color because I prefer black to blue. So go up to the background color and change it to black. Now because my video is most certainly not about redefining slow fashion, I would go ahead and click on that to be able to change it to what I wanted to say. So let's say this video is about how to edit with Canva and then change this to how to create graphics. If you go and click on the little play button at the top, this is what it would look like on your video. Now, as you guys probably know from my videos, I like to have more like animated titles. So what I would do is go up to here where it says fade and change the animation. So my favorites are usually either rise or pop or baseline. So for this one, I think I like baseline the most. So I'd go ahead and change that to baseline. As you can see up here, it has been changed. So now if I go ahead and click the play button, now it plays like this. So one thing I always, always appreciate about editing within Canva is that it saves absolutely everything you do as you do it. So if I have to leave in the middle of editing, if I want to come back later and change something or add something, then I don't lose any of my progress or any of the editing I have done, it saves automatically. But if this was all I wanted to do to it, if this is how I wanted to use it in my video, then I am now ready to download. So all you do is hit the little download arrow at the top, then hit the download button and that then downloads it directly to your computer or your phone, whatever device you are using. And then when I edit my videos, I can go ahead and just drag and drop the title over top of my video and have the title appear in my video. So to all those of you guys who watch my videos and ask me, how did you make that title? Where do you get your titles from? This is how I do it, is just saving a whole bunch of different templates in Canva and editing them and changing them to my own aesthetic and style. All right, so the next thing I get a whole ton of questions about is my 
animated subscribe button, my Instagram overlays, my other types of overlays, when I have little like text message pop-ups and all that kind of stuff. So again, just like before, open up video, then go to video again and have the blank screen. So what I do for this is go over to where it says elements in the side tab and over to the search bar, I will search for something like subscribe or subscribe button, something like that. So this one is my favorite. It's nice and simple. A simple color isn't too distracting, but also gets the point across. So you could totally have this just randomly appear in your video. But again, just like with my text and titles, I prefer to have it be a little bit more animated to kind of like grab your attention as you watch the video. So I will again go over to where it says animate up here and I will add a animation to the subscribe button. So I think for this, I prefer the pop the best, kind of like jumps up and grabs your attention. So I go ahead and click the play button. This is how it would appear in the video. Now the one change I have to make here versus with my titles is changing the background because if I download it like this, it's going to pop up with a white background and basically cover my entire video, which I don't want. So what I do is go ahead and click the background and then change this background to a green color. Then just like with the text, go over to the download arrow and download that to my computer. So once I'm inside of my editing software, what I do is go over to my finder and I'm going to drag and drop in the subscribe button I have just edited in Canva. And what I do here is use a green screen. Now green screening is going to have a ton of different names in different softwares and Final Cut it's called Keyer. Inside of iMovie I think it's called blue slash green screen so it totally depends on your editor. So what I do for this is go over to the keying tool inside of Keyer and I will drag and drop this over top of the green which automatically takes away all the green and leaves just the subscribe button so that as you're watching the video this is what it looks like. So I have a nice little animated subscribe button and have no ugly green background or white background behind the subscribe button that is going to cover and take away from my video. So that is just one example of one graphic I like to use Canva for but there are like a million and one different possibilities. So for example going into my folder into my icons and my overlays this is one I created for my Instagram. So if you go ahead and play this this is what it looks like it's just basically an iPhone that has my Instagram profile and helped me get to 10k. So what I did for this one was inside of elements I just searched for iPhone and that brought up the little fake iPhone doohickey. So I just basically dragged and dropped the iPhone into Canva. Then I had the screenshot of my Instagram profile that I just kind of like inserted into the phone. And then like with the subscribe button, I added a animation to the phone so that when you play it, it is going to basically rise up on the video. So if I go ahead and download this to my computer and use it in Final Cut Pro, again, open up Finder and drag and drop that over top of the video. Then I go and use the green screen again. Again, this is how it looks. It's going to pop up with my Instagram. So that is just one more example of another graphic I made using Canva. And now for a third thing I get a whole ton of questions about every single time I upload is how I make my thumbnails and cut myself out, how I get the white shadow behind me, and all that sort of thing. So just as an example, here's one where I basically cut out a picture of me and put it over top of a picture of a bedroom as if I was going to make some kind of a room tour video. So going back to before I did any of this, go up to the search bar and search for YouTube thumbnail. And this is so, so helpful because as a newer YouTuber, I did not know what constituted a good or not so good thumbnail. I had no idea like what's a thumbnail that people want to click on versus don't want to click on. So Canva has all kinds of like super, super eye-catching different thumbnail templates that you can use to make some super like professional looking thumbnails if you have no experience in in editing. So things like this, you can basically just swap out your own pictures and your own text and have something that looks super, super professional. But for the sake of what I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to use the blank YouTube thumbnail. So here I'm going to go over to upload and bring in the thumbnail picture I took in my room. I'm going to stretch this to fit the template that looks ish okay. All right, so now for actually cutting myself out of the thumbnail picture. What I do is click on the picture, then go up to where it says effects and 
and click the top where it says background remover. Basically, I have spent a crap ton of money and wasted so much time in Photoshop having to manually cut myself out step by step, having it look super like messy and not very professionally done, when all I had to do was just bring it into Canva, click one button and have it done for me. And within just a few seconds, here is the cutout of me without the background. So now let's say this was going to be a room tour video. What I would do is go down to where it says add page and then over here go to photos and search for a picture of a room. So this one, just click this and put it into the template and then drag to make it fit the picture. Then as you guys know, in all of my thumbnails, I like to have a very like blurry background so that I kind of pop up in the picture. So what I do for this is go up to where it says adjust and then over to where it says blur and just kind of toggle that up until it's just how I want it to look. Not too blurry, but also blurry enough. So now to be able to have the cutout of me appear on this picture, I have to download this as a transparent PNG. So what I do is go over to where it says download and then I select only the picture that has the cutout and then I have to tick this little box here that says transparent background. Basically what this does is immediately takes out all of the white behind me and leaves just the picture of me. So then go ahead and hit download and then once that has downloaded, I can go ahead and delete this first page and keep just this one. Then I go over to uploads and I will upload the picture I have just downloaded from Canva and then I will drag and drop the picture into here so it looks like the cutout of me is right on top of the background. Kind of resize it, move it around. All right, so now for the fun part, all of the drop shadows and all of that stuff. So again, go ahead and click on the picture of me and then go up to where it says effects and we are looking for the one that says glow. So as you can see now, a little like black drop shadow has appeared behind me. However, that is not quite the look I am looking for. So what I do is go ahead and click on the little toolbox here and change the color to white. Now, as you can see, it is now a white shadow. So then once I've done that, I kind of mess around with these little like toolbars here, just kind of mess with like the blur and the transparency, make the shadow a little bit bigger and just sort of mess around with these until it looks exactly as I want it to. Then once I'm happy with how it looks, all I have to do is hit the little apply button at the bottom. And then just like everything else we have downloaded from Canva so far today, I just go ahead and hit the little download button and then download it to my computer. And like I said, if ever I want to change something or edit something, Canva saves absolutely everything you do second by second. So if I go back to the homepage here, down inside of your designs, just click on here. And here is the thumbnail I have just designed. So that is how I get the cutout and the white shadow inside of my thumbnails. So that you guys is it for this video. Those are pretty much my favorite things to do and use Canva for to create my thumbnails, my titles, my graphics and overlays. But that is most definitely only scratching the very, very surface of what Canva can do. So please feel free to use the link in my description box to have a full 45 days to use Canva for free so that you guys can check out absolutely everything you wanna see or maybe try out things on your own and see if Canva is a good fit for you. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Love you all to the moon and back and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.